In this video, we're going to go over how to organize real estate properties that you're potentially looking at in Microsoft Excel. And Microsoft Excel is really helpful because you can quickly organize all the information for the different types of real estate properties you're looking at. So for example, uh, you can type in things like the date that the property was listed. You can go ahead and type in the area that the property is in, the purchase price, how many bedrooms does it have, how many bathrooms. You can type in the square footage. You can also type in what type of real estate property you're looking at, whether it's a condo, a single family, or, or even a multi-unit. And you can add even additional details such as does the property have a pool and or is the property sold. So the next step you want to do is you want to create a table that's going to basically allow you to kind of organize and manipulate the data just a bit. So what you want to do is you can select any table, any cell in the, in the, in the within the cell ranges and you want to click command T or control T or you can even go ahead and insert tab and click on the table. It's going to go ahead and select all the, the range, uh, cells in the range and you're just going to go ahead and click OK and it's going to create a nice little table for you uh, for all the properties. Alright now so a couple things you can do with this table is you can organize the data to give you basically uh, a, a specific order that you want to that you want to look at. So, for example, if I'm looking at potentially buying real estate properties, uh, I basically want to look for the cheapest prices. And so, what I can do is I can go over to this list price cell and I can click on this arrow and I can pretty much click ascending, and that's going to organize the data from lowest price to the highest price. Right, and then I can also compare it. Uh, another thing that I can do is if I wanted to find out uh, because each property has different square footage, right? So, for example, obviously a property that's 950 uh, square feet is going to cost less than a property that's 2723 uh, square feet. So, what I can do to figure out whether a property is overpriced or underpriced is I can basically divide. Uh, the purchase price by the square foot and so what I can do here is I can simply just click on this column here and I can basically just add another column to the left and I can I can rename this cell to dollar amount per square foot and basically what I can do here is just, I'm just gonna apply a formula that's gonna divide the purchase price divided by the square feet and, and what I can do here is just click equals uh, purchase price divided by square feet and then I'm just going to go ahead and click enter and that gives me the purchase price per square foot and so now if you notice uh, these numbers are a little bit different than than these numbers here you notice that uh, 121 is less than 21 so it may seem that this property was the lowest price in terms but once we divide it by square foot it's actually not the cheapest per square foot so what I want to do now is now I want to find the cheapest per square foot in relevant in comparison with the square footage and look at that I just found a really good property for $85 per square foot and I have a $2700 square foot property so this may be a better deal to look at even though it costs more even though it's going to cost me 20, 229000 at least I know I'll be paying less per square foot than if I were to go ahead and, and purchase the, the previous uh, property which was the 119 All right, so that's a great way to really filter out um, the different types of properties in, in, in comparison to the, uh, the price so now I have about um, about 126 properties. So now I know that I have these properties here. So I know that I really don't need to look at these. Uh, basically what I can just do now is I can, if I wanted to filter out, I can basically say, okay, um, let's say I want the top 20. So I'm going to go to sell 20 and I see that the purchase price is 111. So what I can do here is I can click this arrow now and I can pretty much filter out. So I can say anything that's less than 100 
and twelve dollars. And now I have the the cheapest tw twenty two properties that I can look at versus having to deal with with looking at the other hundred and, and something properties. And so now I can narrow down my search in, in terms of uh, the price per square foot and square footage. And uh, this property actually seems to be really good since it has four bedrooms. Uh, but unfortunately, it's already, oh, it's not sold. I thought it was sold. And it's a single family. So uh, re very easy way to go through a large amount of properties. Um, the only thing you're going to have to do is to individually type these properties as you... Um, as you do your research, so let's say for example, I found uh, another property from my broker um, on uh, July 2020 of 2015, um, and let's say this is in South County, and let's say the purchase price was $100, $200,000. There you go, $200,000. Uh, we don't know the square foot yet, so let's say it's a three bedroom and a two bathroom and let's say it's a, a flat 2,000 square feet um, and then it's a single family home uh, and does it have a pool let's say no and is it sold no uh, actually mistyped there so we'll go false and there you go and now I've added a, a new property and you notice I probably will still have to ascend so reascend and then we'll go ahead and delete this one here. And there you go. I've added a new property to my list. Uh, so very easy way. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked Excel videos on tutorial, real estate analysis, and Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.